Chapter 6 The Peninsular Plateau Region Central Highlands We will study the following points in this chapter. 6.1 Physiography 6.2 Climate 6.3 Soils 6.4 Natural Vegetation and Animal Life 6.5 Population and Settlement 6.6 Economic Development which includes Agriculture Mining Industries Transportation Tourism 6.7 Natural Hazards and Environmental Problems 6.7 Introduction The word peninsula is derived from two Latin words penne and insula. The former means almost and the latter means island. Hence the land that is almost like an island is called peninsula. It indicates the portion of the land that is surrounded by water on three sides. It is the land that appears to be protruding into the sea. The land lying to the south of the North Indian plains is considered as Peninsular India. Peninsular India is one of the ancient land masses of the earth. It has undergone a number of changes since its long geological past. Major part of Peninsula India has igneous and metamorphic rocks and it covers approximately 38% of India's total geographical area. Peninsula India is a storehouse of different minerals, particularly the Aravli Mountains, Chota Nagpur Plateau and the Karnataka Plateau are well known for their mineral wealth. The peninsula basically includes a series of plateaus and each one has distinct physiographic characteristics. The western ghats form a water divide that separates the drainage of Arabian Sea and Bay of Bengal. River Narmada is considered as a boundary separating the peninsula area into two broad divisions. 1. Central Highlands lying to the north of Narmada and 2. Deccan Plateau extending southwards from Narmada Valley till the southern tip of the peninsula. We shall study salient features of these divisions in chapter 6 and 7. The Central Highlands 6.1 Physiography The region extending from the southern rim of the North Indian Plains up to the Narmada Valley is called as the Central Highlands. It mainly comprises of the peninsular area that forms a part of Ganga River Basin. The Aravli Mountains, East Rajasthan Upland, Malwa Plateau, Bundelkhand, Bakhelkhand, Chota Nagpur Plateau and the Vindhya Range form the subdivisions of the Central Highlands. Most of the rivers originating from north in this physiographic division flow in a southwest to northeast direction. The central highlands are wider in the west and the width decreases towards the east. Some of the noteworthy landscapes of this physiographic division are Mount Abu in Aravli Mountains, Ravines, of River Chambal, Marble Gorge of River Narmada near Jabalpur, 
and Kaimur escarpment in the far eastern part of the central highlands. Six point two climate. Due to its vast size, this region has a large variation in climate. To the east of the Aravalli Range, Madhya Pradesh and Jharkhand experience humid subtropical climate. The winters are generally dry. The summers are hot and temperatures can reach 46 degrees Celsius in the lowlands. May and June are the hottest months. The rainy season is from June to September and the annual rainfall is between 750 mm and 1500 mm. Six point three soils. Black soil formed from basalt rock is found in Madhya Pradesh. This contains a high percentage of clay and is moisture retentive. Red soils are found in the Aravlis. These are deficient in nitrogen, phosphorus, and humus, but are rich in iron. Laterite soils are formed in the eastern regions receiving heavy rainfall. Heavy rainfall results in leaching out all soluble material of the top layer of soil. 6.4 Natural Vegetation and Animal Life The natural vegetation in Malwa region is tropical dry forest with scattered teak forest. The main trees are Babul, Bombax and Acacia, Antelope, Black Buck and Chinkara are some common animals. The last century's rapid deforestation has led to various environmental problems. The central highland has dry deciduous forest. Though the plateau has a variety of vegetation, sal forest is predominant here. Forest range from dry to wet and the height of trees reach up to 25 meters. The plateau is also swampy and in some places and in other parts is covered with bamboo clumps and shrubs. Tigers, Asian elephants, four-horned antelope, black buck, chinkara and wild dog are some of the animals found here, while birds include the threatened lesser florican, Indian grey hornbill and other hornbills. More than half of the natural forest on the plateau has been cleared for grazing and large scale mining operations. It disturbs the movement and the survival of wildlife including elephants and tigers. Hence some of the plateau regions are protected areas. 6.5 Population and Settlement Population density in this region is average 200 to 500 persons per square kilometer. Except Chhattisgarh where it is 100 to 200 persons per square kilometers. There are numerous tribes in the region such as the Bhils and the Minas who all differ in a remarkable degree from the others in their dialects and social life. They encompass variety of languages and cultures. Some tribes of the region, notably a nomadic tribe from the Marwa region of Rajasthan, the Gadia Lohars who work as Lohars, visit the region at the beginning of the agricultural season to repair and sell agricultural tools and implements.
periods of maratha rule led to the growth of sizable marathi communities the region of indore and ujjain has a considerable marathi speaking population ujjain had been the political economic and cultural capital of the malwa region in ancient times and indore is presently the largest city and commercial center throughout the hilly tract of the aravalli region hamlets are widely dispersed whereas hills of mewar marwar and alwar have isolated farmsteads in the ravine tract of bundelkhand large compact villages occupy the favorable and protected sites malwa region owing to its fertile soils has helped in the growth of large clustered settlements the chhota nagpur plateau region shows great variation in the types and patterns of rural settlements compact and clustered settlements are developed in the fertile and level areas of baghel khan plateau and chatisgarh plain rural settlements exhibit mixed type depending upon the nature of relief soil fertility water supply and socio economic development Six point six economic development bundelkhand and adjoining areas have vast resources in terms of land forests and minerals but the area is far behind others in agriculture and industries agriculture agriculture is main occupation of people in the region cotton and soya beans are important cash crops in this region the other major crops grown in this area are wheat rice jowar maize bajra gram moong urad and soya bean peninsular plateau of india is dependent on rains for irrigation though the major sources of irrigation in bundelkhand are wells the water in the wells depend upon the rain the second major source of irrigation is ponds which are spread all over and serve as a major source of drinking water as well as irrigation actually the water table in the region as well as in the wells is maintained by these traditionally existing ponds the infertility of land low productivity lack of irrigation facilities and non use of modern methods have hindered the development of agriculture mining malwa plateau is the sole producer of white and red colored slate in india diamonds found in panna district of madhya pradesh constitute bundelkhand's most well known mineral wealth more valuable are bundelkhand's large reserves of what are called dimensional stones including granite and sandstone mostly used mineral in the fertilizer industry is rock phosphate found in lalitpur and chatarpur large reserves of low grade iron ore are found in lalitpur mining activities are well developed in the chhota nagpur plateau because it is rich in minerals like mica bauxite copper limestone iron ore and coal the damodar valley is rich with coal deposits and it is considered as the prime region of cooking coal in the country
The important coal fields in the basin are Jharia, Rani Ganj, West Bokaro, East Bokaro, and Ramgarh. Industries Textiles are a major industry in Malwa region. Large centers of textile production include Indore and Ujjain. Handicrafts are an important source of income for the tribal population. Colored lacquerware from Ratlam, rag dolls from Indore, and paper mash articles from Indore, Ujjain and several other centers are well known. Now many centers of large and medium scale industries have developed. Indore has a large scale factory that produces diesel engines. Pithampur near Indore is known as industrial town for its heavy concentration of automotive industry. Indore is recognized as the commercial center of Madhya Pradesh and is the main center of textiles and agro-based products. Transportation Bus and train services cover major part of the central highlands. Jabalpur, Indore and Bhopal have interstate bus terminals and good road network. An extensive rail network crisscrosses the region, with Jabalpur serving as headquarters for the West Central Railway Zone of the Indian Railways. Tourism Bundelkhan and Baghelkhan have a rich cultural background. Bundelkhan has numerous forts palaces and temples. This region is a land of ancient culture and tradition. It is famous for its archaeological monuments and places of pilgrimage for all the religions, Hindus, Muslims, Jains and Buddhists. Ujjain city on the banks of river Shipra is famous for Kumbh Mela. Khajurao Temple in Madhya Pradesh are famous for tourism. 6.7 Natural Hazards and Environmental Problems Main environmental problems of the region are related to deforestation, mining, industrialization, power generation, urbanization, vehicles movement and development projects. Forest cover in the region is shrinking due to indiscriminating cutting of trees. Development projects, mining activities and transport development have led to the loss of thousands of hectares of valuable forests. Some valuable forests have been lost due to expansion of agricultural activities. Peninsular uplands are the storehouse of India's mineral and fuel resources. Due to defective mining practices, miners devastate the environment. They are not under obligation to level the area and plant new trees before closing the mining and moving to another site. Mineral dust, blasting, mine fires, etc. have adverse effect on the health of the residents living near the mines. The region has a number of thermal plants. The refuse from the power plants pollutes neighboring water bodies and reservoirs. Aravli Mountains the Aravlis is supposed to be the oldest mountain range in India. It stretches in a southwest to northeast direction. It is broad in the southwestern parts 
and narrows towards the northeast. The main block of Aravli is represented by hills between Mount Abu and Ajmer. The highest peak in these hills is Guru Shikhar. Towards the northeast, the height of these hills decreases and they also appear more or less as a chain of broken hills. Due to the erosion by headwaters of Banas, river along the eastern slopes as well as the erosion by Luni river along the western slopes. The Aravli hills have receded considerably. Of course, the recession is greater along the eastern slopes. This has resulted in narrowing of the Aravli range in the central part, giving the entire hill chain a shape of a dumbbell. These hills form a part of the water divide in this region. The East Rajasthan Uplands The Rajasthan Uplands extend eastward from the foot of Aravli Hills. The region is characterized by narrow low hills running in the southwest to northeast direction. Otherwise, it is a flatland. The mean altitude in this area is around 300 meters though a few hills rise to 600 meters. The area is mostly drained by the Banas River, a tributary of River Chambal. This area extends from the Aravli Hills to the eastern plains, mainly drained by the rivers like Chambal and Sindh. The area close to the channels of these rivers and particularly that of River Chambal is known for the bad land topography. The bad lands are the areas that have undergone severe downcutting by river channels. The Chambal bad lands are also known as Bihads. Malwa Plateau. This is located in the southwestern part of the central highlands. The average elevation of the plateau is 500 meters. It is characterized by low relief and undulating topography. The rolling topography of Malwa is at places spotted with low hills. Major part of Malwa plateau falls in the state of Madhya Pradesh. It is located between Aravli Range in the west and Vindhya Range in the south. It forms the source region of rivers like Mahi that flows into Gujarat area and the Chambal and Betwa River which flows towards north. Bundelkhan the region lying to the northeast of Malwa Plateau is known as Bundelkhan. It spreads in the northern part of Madhya Pradesh and adjoining portion of South Uttar Pradesh. The rocks found in this area are mostly granite. Northern part of Bundelkhan is remarkably flat land that smoothly merges with the North Indian plains. This flat land is separated by steeply rising plateaus. The overall topography of Bundelkhan may be described as smooth undulating terrain with a few isolated hills. Bundelkhan forms part of Yamuna River Basin. Sindh is the major river that flows towards the north and merges into the river Yamuna. Vindhyanchal Bagelkhan. The region to the southeast of Bundelkhan and east of Malwa Plateau is known as Vindhyanchal Bagelkhan. 
This area is mostly drained by river tones, river zone and its tributaries. The Vindhyan shelf forms a chain of scraps running into a southwest northeast direction. However, though steep, the northern scarps are somewhat discontinuous against their southern counterparts which form a continuous wall-like structure. Most of the Vindhyanchal area falls within the state of Madhya Pradesh. Its eastward extension forms a small part of eastern Uttar Pradesh. Towards the east of Vindhyanchal lies the land of Bagel Khand, spreading in eastern Madhya Pradesh and northern part of Chhattisgarh. Son Narmada is generally taken as a physical boundary between the central highlands and the Deccan plateau. Bagel Khand forms the source region of most of the tributaries of river Son. Chota Nagpur Plateau Much of this plateau spreads in Jharkhand and extends into the adjoining states like West Bengal, Chhattisgarh and Odisha. It is one of the mineral rich regions of our country. Granitic knives are found in large tracts in the central part of this region. The rocks of Gondwana Highland and formation bearing high grade coal seams have made Chota Nagpur a mineral rich region. Chota Nagpur basically consists of a series of plateaus at different levels. The surfaces of all the plateaus are flat and are studded with low rounded hills. The scarps separating the plateaus have given rise to spectacular waterfalls. The Vindhya Range The Vindhya Range practically forms a boundary between North and South India. It spreads from eastern part of Gujarat up to Bihar for a distance of about 1100 kilometers. The altitude of this region is about 450 to 600 meters, though at a few places the altitude exceeds 900 meters. It does not have many peaks. The southern margin of this range defines the edge of river Narmada. The southern slopes of the Vindhya range are quite steep. The northern slopes of the Vindhya range are quite gentle and they extend northward for quite some distance. 